All right, Twitter. You asked for it. This is our number one requested video. Everybody has been asking us to take Matt Martin to Denny's to try the entire Han Solo themed <laughs> menu. We've been hassling you for months. I think I was the only one requesting it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, fine, dude, we'll get breakfast Great, with you. Great, fine, waffles, I was like, okay. fine, we'll get breakfast. So you love Denny's. I do, I do love Denny's. You were like stoked when you found out this promotion was gonna be Yeah, happening. no, it, like it came through my, my inbox to review and I'm like, we're doing Denny's? <laughs> Like, Denny's is like responsible for half of my, my teen years. <laughs> so it's like, if we're on the, the, the scales of truth in Star Wars, where do they weigh against each other? I know it's like pitting your... Like Denny's versus Star yeah. Wars? Ooh. Is it an even scale or does Star Wars barely I mean, Star, Star Wars is always going to be number one, but Denny's is up there, man. I've what had about, a lot of great moments at Denny's. <laughs> what about a solo-themed menu at Denny's? That's so like it's... the pinnacle. Like, <laughs> no joke, as soon as these menus came out, I'm like, yeah, I, I got to get one of those. <laughs> awesome. So we went to the El Capitan I, event. I heard. Pretty amazing. We I wasn't did. invited. We got to interview. Uh, we'll let you know. Sometimes you, it's hard with Lucasfilm. You gotta <laughs> yeah, like, I know. You gotta ask them. It's one of these. You, <laughs> you, gotta, you know really gotta people. badger them. You, you know? really gotta know people know to there. get that stuff. But we'll let, we'll let you know if we hear of anything. The next Denny's promotion. Yes. Yeah, the next. Thanks. That's you heard true. it here first. We could cut that. <laughs> we could cut that. Uh, all right. So why don't we check out what's on the menu? We'll order up some breakfast and we'll talk a little bit about Star Wars food promotions and all that good stuff. Sounds Sound good. good? Let's right, do it. Let's do it. All right, I'm ready. You, you know what you want? want? Yes. You know what you want? I've been here before. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> it's not your first rodeo? It's not. Okay. Bro, I get awesome. the same thing at Denny's every time. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Denny's. My name's Emma, and I'll be your server for tonight. Can I get you guys started with any Coke, any Sprite, lemonade, iced tea? Matt? Uh, I'll go with uh, Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper, okay. Uh, I will go with just a Coca-Cola Classic. Any shot of cherry or vanilla for you? Oh, no, classic. That's too much choice. <laughs> you can't go wrong. <laughs> I'm going to go with the classic as well. Classic as well, okay. And then, Would you like to get started with any appetizers? Any Italian sampler or new loaded nacho tots for you? Oof. You know what, though? I think we're going to go with three Crystal Crunch milkshakes. Oh, perfect. Okay. <laughs> with the popping candy the rocks. Popping rocks <laughs> the popping rocks for sure. Yes. Alrighty. And perfect. I think we're ready to order, right? Yeah. Oh, do you know right, what you want? Let's do it. What can I get for you guys? Uh, can I get a super bird? And a Every chicken time. noodle soup. Okay, perfect. What can I get for you? I will have a moons over my hammy with a side of hash browns. Perfect. Any ranch for you? Sure. <laughs> Who doesn't like ranch? Ranch is a classic <laughs> condiment. I'll what take it. Get? I'm gonna go with an order of your chicken tenders. Okay. And French fries. Would you like any buff or buffalo sauce barbecue ranch? You know what? I'm gonna go barbecue, barbecue. ranch, mm -hmm. and honey mustard. Oh! <laughs> We call that the triple threat. It's <laughs> true. Right, yes. But I don't think that's all that we're gonna order. Now, because we're here for the solo menu, can we also have one of everything on the Han Solo theme menu? Yes. Literally one of one everything. One of everything. One of everything. We would like a blaster fire burger, <laughs> a light speed slam, a co-reactor pancakes, and a two moon skillet. And how would you like your eggs on the two moon skillet? Uh, just like in the picture. Sunny side up. Sunny side up. <laughs> all right. Literally like exactly we have no creativity. We just want... <laughs> yes, just the menu. <laughs> the menu. Would you like our new trading cards for $3? Yes, because those actually go to No Kid Hungry, right? Correct. Yes, you know what? We'll take... How many people are here? One, two, three. We will take... 18, 18 packs cards. of trading cards. That should get us at least one Therm Scissor. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, so we want to do 18 packs of cards. Okay. And then, of course, every drink in the cups. Perfect. Awesome. We'll do that for you. Thank you, awesome. Emma. Thank, Thank you, Emma. So Thank, you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Okay, so let's talk Star Wars food promotion. Okay. Because that's something that's very near and dear to my heart, and I have heard through a little <laughs> bird that that might be something that's near and dear to your heart. Yeah, I, I have oddly been a collector of Star Wars food products. 
<laughs> for some reason. Yeah, well, what is it about Star Wars food products though? Is it just that like childlike nostalgia? Like, oh my gosh, Star Wars cereal. I think that's where it started. And I just like the weird combinations, especially when they do it a really clever way. Like the, the solo red cup promotion is like, oh, that's, that's just real clever. You can't not want that. So know? we had a rule on this road trip that if you saw something from the side of the road, that sold Star Wars toys, we had to pull over, <laughs> we had to go in, and you had to buy something. How Star long did Wars it take themed. you to get up here? Like nine hours. <laughs> and we took the 101, which is we an took even longer ride. Yep. So the best part is we went to a Walmart that doesn't have a toy aisle. It only That's has a, a really, it's like a grocery store almost, where it okay. had the little like Super Balls and like stickers and some like Hot Wheels, nothing Star Wars themed. But the rule is we had to buy something, so we actually bought a big thing of the Son Solo Solo Cups, awesome. and we reviewed them. <laughs> Turns out they've added grippies, man. They're great. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's no longer a perfectly round cup. It now has little handles. Little, huh. little nubbies. I wonder how that affects the pong. I don't know. I don't play beer. I didn't go to college, so <laughs> I don't really have an opinion on beer pong. <laughs> Alex actually other. uses his ping pong table for ping pong. I do. Okay. <laughs> Let's ping pong. I, I don't drink. I've just watched people do ping, uh, beer pong, so... <laughs> Anybody want to do water pong or? I hear it's not the same. It's, I have a feeling it's like <laughs> you know, guys, there anticlimactic. Is, there is a target across the street. We could get ping pongs and play water, water pong? pong with our solo cups in Denny's. This can be a seven hour episode. <laughs> a seven hour episode of bothering Matt to do stuff he would never want to do yes. in real life. I mean, yes. we may as well do that because everybody's already tuned out. <laughs> everybody's, no everybody's one is gonna, still watching I this. know, that's the best part. We put in so much, this is maximum effort for such minimal results. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, so tell me, if you had to like pick a favorite Star Wars promotional food item, would it be episode one cup toppers from Taco Bell? Would it be my f my favorite is the Obi Wan Mountain Dew cans with young mm -hmm. Obi Wan? Are there are there any that stick out to you as being like just legit? It's fun. You named actually a couple of them. So the the Pepsi, the both episode one actually the Pepsi promotion that had the different faces on each can. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. which caused me to then have to get every different type of soda. Oh yeah. Oh my god. You uh, know how many until, cubes I had to buy. No, seriously, I still have boxes of those cans, which is weird because on the official store on Star Wars Insider, you could buy that box set, and then so I bought the box set. So I have all of them unopened, and yet I still have like stacks of these cans just because I couldn't throw them away. Unopened. Oh, yeah. Or I would, well, the one the ones that I bought from inside are unopened. The ones that I would drink, I would pop a thing in the bottom and then I would like get it out because I figured it might like decay or something. So Alex, let me ask you something. Hold on. You can't let that sweatiness <laughs> go unchecked. Like you tried, you were like, you know what, I'm not gonna do it. That might be the sweatiest thing we've heard on the show and I'm so proud I of it. I feel you. like that's that's an accomplishment. Hey mom, can I get the power drill? I gotta quickly drill out the bottom of this mountain too. Yeah, no, it's true. And And like, <laughs> It's weird trying to figure out the best way to do that. Like I tried like the ice pick with a hammer, which not a good idea. I did try the power drill, also not a good idea. I just picture you with like science safety goggles. Yeah, it's like a- like You're a, like dish, <laughs> like gloves. Yeah. And like a ice pick and like a mallet, like. It's like That's a, like, literally what happened, but without the safety equipment. It's like an 80s an movies montage where it's like every step it just gets worse. So yeah. it's like, like everything is like perfectly timed. Oh my gosh. And, and like when you're doing it, you also can't mess up the can. So you have to do it really gently because you don't want it to like, you don't well, want you to also hit it don't and want have it to go, go pssst. Yeah. Well, that's going to happen no matter yeah. what. There's no way around that. But you accomplished this goal? I did. I have a, a bunch of those cans. Are they still in good shape? I assume so. They're, they're just in like a box. Do like you have a, a storage box. unit? Yeah, my mom's house. Oh, that's me. That's, that's perfect. <laughs> I, we're staying at Steve's house. Oh no. First of all, let's just let's let's get real sweaty. He has a Sarah Michelle Geller standee, like a like a life like size. Buffy? Season three. Season three. Buffy. Sarah Michelle Geller. Okay, that's cool. I will say though, he has a vintage Kenner Falcon, in a tub. And, and a I snow just speeder. And I stuck my hand in just to touch it. <laughs> I was like, I feel you. I see you. Does it have all the parts? Uh, you know, it's actually my brother's. Uh, it does have. Almost all of the parts, I believe. Yeah, so I don't know. I have a feeling before we uh, might go missing. We leave this on this trip. It might go missing since my brother's currently <laughs> residing in Costa Rica, <laughs> and he's got to get rid of some stuff before he you fully can give moves. it a home. So we know you love breakfast because we've been bothering you about <laughs> Denny's and breakfast for like what 
three, almost. It feels three, like six it's months. It's been like but six months of hassling <laughs> you, and we finally managed to convince you to get breakfast. Although you convinced us, really. Let's be. It honest. wasn't. It wasn't that hard. Yeah, it wasn't that hard. So, what is it about specifically like diner food? Is it the comfort quality, or is it just you just love it? No, I. It's a, it is an interesting question because I really have been super into diners and I think it, part of it is kind of the comfort quality and because I'm not a super adventurous eater, I know I can go to a diner and I'll find a thousand things that I'll yeah. happily eat. Mm -hmm. um, it's got kind of a cool Americana history to it, which yeah. I always appreciated. I like the fact that they're open late, especially Denny's, 24 hours, so you can go there you know, after a show at two in the morning. Um, One of the early concepts for this show was we always loved that feeling of like going to see Star Wars mm -hmm. and then talking about it after. Yep. Like after my, like a midnight screening. After a sure. midnight screening and then going to a drive-thru and just sitting and breaking down all the stuff you loved about it, yep. whatever the movie was. And we really wanted that show to capture it, which is why I think this idea <laughs> ended up working out totally. so perfect. It's like, oh, we just, instead of being in our closet, we just do this at a table and eat breakfast? Yeah, can do. Easy. I actually did do this after episode one. I saw episode one seven times the first day in the theater, literally every showing in, in that one specific theater, and then went to Denny's that night. Beat that. <laughs> just beat it. In mathematically, it'll be hard to beat it. <laughs> seven times. That's crazy. Speaking of Phantom Menace, I want to get back to this soda thing real quick. Okay. Okay. So I, you probably didn't see it, but on our show a few months ago, we opened up a pack of 30-year-old Empire Strikes Back trading cards. Really? Mm -hmm. And you know how those Sweet. come with the bubble gum. We ate the bubble gum. Yep. We're still alive. Yeah. It blew up like dust. It did. Like, you know, like in the Haunted Mansion? Like it tasted like, yeah. it, it, it literally was just straight up penicillin. <laughs> <laughs> but this brings me back to the, the soda cans. You still have some with soda in them? No, no, I don't. Because I was worried that, I think my mom or my dad or somebody told me that if you left the soda in the can, that the soda would eventually eat, at, eat away at the can, which is kind of funny because we put that in ourselves, but um, <laughs> I don't know if that's true, Ooh, boy. but it was enough for, to talk me out of keeping it in the can. Can I change into a cans. water piece? <laughs> so, so this brings me to a question. Do you think we could die if I ended up bidding and winning a Phantom Menace Pepsi Mountain Dew or Dr. Pepper on eBay? I don't think you and could. And drinking it? I think you'd be okay. You think we'd be okay? Because someone did that with Crystal Pepsi. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. which is older and grosser. If there's one thing I've learned about YouTube, it's that the stuff people do on YouTube is always smart to try at home. <laughs> so like, you probably could just go on eBay okay. and feel great. That's so why I think I'm gonna Pepsi. drink 20 year old Pepsi on this show. Okay, I'll, I'll ask you this, because my thing I love is collectible cups. Mm -hmm. That's like the thing I love, which is when I found out they were doing these solo yeah. cups, I looked at them was like, bro, cup toppers. They have cup toppers. They haven't done cup toppers, <laughs> cup toppers. ever. Cup toppers, cup toppers. Do you remember the Taco Bell Jar Jar oh, Boss yeah. Ass? Oh, what yeah. was your favorite one of those? Uh, the new Gunray. <laughs> Yeah, it was. I love New Gunray. Like he's such a stupid character. Like <laughs> not like a stupid character. Like he's bad. It's just like I love characters that are just like there's like no redeeming qualities yeah, to him. Like, like he just sucks. It's like uh, and like that makes me love him because he doesn't care that he sucks. He just sucks. <laughs> and then to get a cup topper, I'm like no, New Gunray is no one's favorite character. And yet there's a bunch of kids that have a New Gunray cup topper. Do you have all those promotional I cup do. toppers yeah. from Pizza Hut? Yeah. Uh, Taco Bell and, and KFC. KFC. Yeah. Tight. That was one of my favorite promotions because they themed each restaurant like a planet. Mm -hmm. So, yes. I thought that was just the cool, it was like a weird transmedia thing. They almost, had like a weird they, separatist yeah. one. Yeah. And they had like a Naboo set, which was yeah, they had a, They had a Naboo, they had Tatooine. Tatooine, and then Coruscant. Yes. I don't remember which restaurant was which. Uh, KFC was. Uh, Oh, Taco Bell, I believe, was Naboo. That's because I have the yeah, shirts. Yeah. I have the shirts. Uh, have KFC's the shirts turquoise, <laughs> or I'm sorry, no, Taco Bell's turquoise, which I think was Naboo. Yeah. Um, if you just tune I in, think KFC was this is the greatest. YouTube I still have video the shirts. <laughs> that's ever been made. I have the shirts, too. the ones that the employees wore. Yes. Yeah, I bought one off an employee. So I also definitely didn't steal any signs from in front of a Taco Bell. So my buddy in <laughs> high school, I've told this story many times. My buddy in high school managed. A KFC. Had a Palm Pilot. Had a Palm, wore a Palm Pilot in like 99. <laughs> oh, he was ahead he's ahead of the game. No, he's ahead of the game. Jesse, you're awesome. You're still <laughs> awesome. Um, but I literally have like three of every 
everything that came out for all of the promotional items for that and the like employee t-shirts mm -hmm. and polos and all of that. And surprisingly, at that time, he got me like, I was a big kid then, he got me like the biggest sizes then, and those shirts actually still fit me today. Why aren't you wearing one right now? Well, I don't know, it's a good question. I just, <laughs> I figure we were at America's Diner. Yeah, fair. And so, fair. you know. Okay, so, we got enough hearing about my story for the millionth time about Taco Bell and KFC in my shame bucket. <laughs> um, now, we had the pleasure of getting to hang out with you for a little bit at Disneyland for Star Wars Nights a couple weeks ago. Uh, you had mentioned when we were getting some Star Wars churros <laughs> that you love to collect paper goods. Sure. What's yeah, some of the other weird paper good promotions and stuff you're kind of into? Any any boxes, boxes oh. of any sort. So like uh, cereal, cereal boxes. boxes for sure. Like um, snack boxes. Those the churro because the, the churro light, is, light is a lightsaber churro. handle. So of course. I ate my churro and then immediately folded it up nicely and saved it. <laughs> put it in like a trapper keeper. Or? Yeah, I think I think my girlfriend put it in her uh, her little folder thing or her book, so she didn't get ruined. Her like we'll call that Amanda's shame folder. So well, it's really like, it's my shame. She's just encouraging. <laughs> no, no. It, once you put it in her folder, she's like, fine, I'll put it in your shame folder that yeah. I keep with me. That seems about right. <laughs> oh, yes, bam. Bam. Hope you enjoy. Thank you. Thank you, Emma. Thank you so much. Pop them. They pop in your mouth, okay? There you are. Thank oh you. My. Thank you. All right. Okay. All right, Matt. <laughs> oh, there you go. Here we go. All right. <laughs> of yeah, course there. that happened. Of course. Like uh, right you have away. a blue one? Jesus. <laughs> or like a, a Jedi green? Okay. So how does this work? Do we pour these pop rocks in and then? I or think... Stir it up, or? <laughs> yeah, it's like a tequila shot. <laughs> so you don't drink. Oh wait, this you don't so, drink. So like when yes. you take a tequila shot, you would like. Is that would, the licking? Yeah, you you yeah, lick the salt it's and it's you it's suck it's the it's lime. It's so this is. Ba so this. <laughs> so bad. first, you don't you so, do that first. first or? You, don't you lick the salt first? <laughs> yes. I normally shoot it and then do it. Okay, let's let's lick the lick lick the lick our hand. Lick the hand like a tequila okay. shot. Okay. Yeah. Huh? Sprinkle, then you, drink. you sprinkle on your <laughs> thing. On the sprinkle on your thing very gently. I don't know if it's going to stick, but okay. We'll okay. see. Okay. Then you so drink. You, 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 let's cheers. Hold on. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Then let's see what the food is. Drink. Let's do this. Ready, boys. <laughs> Super bird. And lick. And then you have the pop rock. <laughs> oh, yeah. my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Moves over. Oh, thank pop you. Him. Oh, wow. By the way. Can you hear this? Last fired burger. Is this easily the most embarrassing thing you've ever seen people do at a Denny's? Not the craziest thing I've seen. <laughs> That's not surprising. That's not surprising. They're at all. open late. Yeah. yeah, at around two in the morning, this place is going to be really <laughs> popping. That's the one. <laughs> yeah. All right, so this is Thank the. You. That's the blaster fire That's burger. That's the blaster fire burger. Okay. Oh my gosh, that shake is still popping. The shake popping. is awesome. The shake is pretty dang good. I got to tell so you. So what are we actually supposed to do? Put it in? I think, I think so. so. I think so. Let's just go for it here. I think you stir it. So I think you give it a good stir. I feel like you should come with directions. Yeah. <laughs> John. More food coming down oh, yes. we got some hash browns. A little eggy. Excuse me. Right. No worries. Light speed. Oh, this is the light oh, speed the slam. Oh, the light yeah. speed slam. This is for some of our larger sweaties, like live in sensible. I should be eating this. <laughs> like live in sensible. <laughs> oh, we got your pancakes for you. Oh, snap. Oh, my gosh. Three different kinds of sauces. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> A sauce hat trick. <laughs> Emma's killing it. There we are. I got sauce and Wait, pop what rocks. is this? That is That's the tangy sauce for the blaster. For the Karaka sauce. Reactor, yes. yes. Not just regular maple. No, so this is like a citrus sauce. We had it at the oh. El Capitan. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's really awesome. Good. Oh my gosh, I'm so ready. Is there anything else I can get for you guys? I think we're good. I think we're going to munch it up and okay. then um, I tell you what, we might take some waters Correct. just for. You know, like you know, how professional eaters—they have to drink a lot of water so they're <laughs> able to. Eat. That's a lot of food. Going That's down. pretty much what we have to do. Is we'll take some waters. No problem. Awesome. Right Thank, Thank you, you, Emma. Oh my gosh! All right, since we have podcast <laughs> listeners, and there's nothing worse than watching people <laughs> awkwardly eat. I've been like sitting here, like on. Yeah. Why don't we like let's let's enjoy this food? We're gonna time lapse it so you guys can get. Let's like the fastest you've ever seen us eat. So why don't we why don't we have Chewy punch it to light speed through this meal? You ready? Sound good? Let's punch it, Chewy. Punch One, it, two, three. Punch, punch it, Chewy. It, Chewy. Okay, so we know we had an amazing meal. We did. We did it. We ate breakfast. We <laughs> ate food. We did it. We have promotional Cheers, guys. cups. 
We have promotional solar I don't even know how you I mean, Oh, do these make like a... Oh. <laughs> That's weird. Falcon's touching tips like that is a strange, <laughs> is a strange sensation. Okay. It's called falcon tipping. <laughs> falcon tipping. Uh, you guys even falcon tip, bro? Do you even falcon tip, bro? That's canon. Falcon tipping is when two falcons like, falcon tipping. <laughs> okay, so we had breakfast. It was fantastic. However... We gotta go with the Denny's promotional cards because a portion of the proceeds go to No Kid Hungry to make sure that No Kid goes hungry, right? So, there's your pack. Thanks, man. Matt, I'll let you pick your card. They raised like over six million dollars last year. Did they really? Yeah, that's, that's impressive. Amazing. That is amazing. All right, you want to go first, Steve-O? All right, I'm ripping. Who'd you get? Who'd you get? Who'd you get, bro? Oh, there's Anakin on the back for my coupon. Dollar off tops trader. <laughs> All right, you No win. Kid Hungry. One and six, free premium craft pancake stack. Oh, that's All right, not let's bad. Let's get to the real that, deal. I got Moloch. Ooh, I don't know who that is yet because I haven't All seen right. the movie. Right. And then I got <laughs> the chief smuggler, the captain of the Falcon, Mr. Han Solo. Okay, nice. Do you want to open up? Or you want me sure, to? Sure, I'll do it. I'll All do right, it. you ready? I haven't opened a pack of cards in a really long time. <laughs> I don't want to like mess it up. It's I okay. Wanna... We got a bunch. Here. No, see, I want to keep it. Oh, you want to keep nah, the package? Screw it. We have enough of them. I got you. <laughs> Ooh, it's a good one. It's a right. good one. I got a range trooper. Oh, the sweat. <laughs> and I got Emphis Nest. Ooh. Ooh yeah. Okay. So we haven't duplicate yet. We haven't had a double yet. All right. So Wait, we got no, we Han. did get a double. Oh, uh, <laughs> we got all off the right, So there's dollar. Han and Moloch. Han, Moloch, range trooper, Emphis Nest. Okay. All right. Therm. Come on. Therm. I want a Therm Scissor Punch. I'm trying to see if I can open this well for you. That's not bad, mm -hmm. right? No? Are you kidding me? Oh, we got oh, a dupe. Oh, we got a dupe. Han. Oh. So we're going to double that up. Han and Mulak. Oh, boo. We got to keep going. Let's All just right, go. Let's keep going. This episode's already four there's, hours and yeah, people aren't no watching. There's no gum, though, for us to eat this time. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's for the best. All right, let's see. Oh, Ooh, snap. It's getting sm silky smooth. All right. We got Lando yes. Calrissian. That's a new one. Oh, snap. And we got L337. Oh, nice. Damn. My favorite. So good. And I've got Argus Six Eyes Panics and a Mud Trooper. Nice. Oh, you guys, I think we may I have think we just... have the whole collection. Hold on. No. We do not. No, there's at least one card missing. So maybe it's this one Therm Scissor oh, Punch. Oh, that's the one. Bam. Therm Scissor Punch, yo. So we have Therm. Wait, we should be making the puzzles. These form oh. a puzzle. Oh, we'll do that at the end. We'll do that yes. at the end. Okay. And then we have Val. Awesome. We have Val. So. Is that I all of them? I think that might I be all of them. I think that is a completion. I think that's a complete set. So let's turn it around and see if we have a, because like, yeah, I think Mud Trooper. That's a dupe. Oh my God, you got water on him. Oh no, don't oh, worry. We, we have plenty. a lot. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, buddy. We can't, we can't have this. <gasps> oh, oh. So we have the TIE Fighter. All right, so I got some yellow. Oh, yeah. I got a border. Boom. Oh, right. we, we might got, not be able to. Nope. There might be one extra. Let's okay. See Who are we missing? Chewy. Duh. Chewy. Duh. Okay, so let's see if you find a Chewy. Chewy and what, Dryden maybe? All right. Maybe. I'm missing, yeah. Gotta be a bad guy. Yeah, let's see. Han Moloch. Okay, Han and Moloch. Oh no, guys. Oh, uh, I got Kira. I got oh, six that's eyes. We didn't have Kira. I got Chewy. I got Kira and Chewy. Okay. okay. I think we needed both of them, right? Yes. So. Oh. Okay, so we have we have completed the Millennium Falcon puzzle. So we're missing one bad guy. Okay. Here. Keep going. Can we do it? Can we complete the puzzle? This is all to help kids. It'll be really sad hungry. if we got all of these packs and still can't do it. No, we had both these, right? Yep. Who okay. are we looking for? I don't know. I think maybe Dryden Voss. I just got Kira and Chewy Kira again. Kira and Chewy. Kira and Chewy. Got it, got it, need it, need it. Oh, what's this guy? Moloch? Yeah. Wait. I think we have that, don't we? No, no. we don't. Oh, Wait, we did. There we go. Oh! We had it all along. We had it, and the, 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 real, the real journey was the friends we made along the way, <laughs> which was Moloch. Okay, so we know that you're gonna take these and fold them up and put them into your your girlfriend's shame folder, <laughs> so you can take them home. But I don't think there's anything shameful about completing no these puzzles. We've made for we've no made kid hungry prints basically. And you know what? 
We have a perfectly mint in package. I have that? Yes. You know I was going to ask for, for that, right? Yeah, look, stack <laughs> them all up. Stack them all up. We did it. You got to turn it this way, man. Oh, Come man, on. I'm just... <laughs> this is why I'm a failed commercial actor. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, thank you so much for thank having you. No problem. Thank you guys us. for food. This is <laughs> the greatest way to keep the road trip going. And we do have a rule. Anytime we see a place that sells Star Wars toys, we have to go. So I don't think this is the end of the night because I see a target right over there. But we've ruined these poor <laughs> Denny's workers' <laughs> night by making them talk yes. to our sweaty selves. Yes. So why don't we wrap it up? Why don't Real we, quick. Yeah? Got to preface this one more time. Denny's yes. is not paying for this. Yeah. Lucasfilm is not paying for this. <laughs> we came up here on our own accord. Matt was kind enough <laughs> to take to time out of time his busy us. schedule to come to a Denny's and let us basically abuse him with questions. So, yeah. uh, thank you. Most people don't even buy me dinner, so. Yeah, <laughs> well. But we do know the entire film rollout for the next um, 30 years. So it's be sure true. to like and subscribe and comment with what movies you want to get made because we now have an inroad at Lucasfilm. <laughs> so we really uh, <laughs> guess what's coming? We're doing a, a movie about uh, Utapau. Yes. <laughs> it's yes. Called, I know that's your favorite planet. It's called the Utapals, and it's just like <laughs> you know the like you know like the weird like talking dog like the the Airbud movies mm -hmm. like the talking golden retrievers who like sure. save Christmas. Yeah. It's like Udas and Pals. They just talk and save Christmas. The Uda Pals. All right. Confirmed. Sure. sure. Canon. Right. That's a thing that's going to happen for, for reals. <laughs> <laughs> and with that said, let's go toy hunting. <laughs>
we're gonna go do this Lucasfilm tour. We'll have some fun. We'll snap some pics. Hang out with the Yoda. And then, yeah, we'll hang out with the Yoda fountain. This is the Star Wars show. You think he really says that? Ba, 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 da, ba, 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 da, Probably not. No. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll hop in the car and we'll head back to Los Angeles. And I have a Lego. You have a task at hand. I have friend. a Lego set to build, but we would just like to say, you guys, man, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. While Steve figures out how to navigate. Sorry, I'm just learning how to drive. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. This has been pretty epic. Pretty epic and pretty insane. We don't know how long this episode's gonna be. No. I don't know if it's two episodes, I don't know if it's three episodes, but yeah. whatever it ends up being, we hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed making it. With that being said, we'll check in with you guys from the Yoda Fountain, and then we'll see you guys back on the road. Until next time. So we just got done with a private tour of Lucasfilm. And uh, let's just say the amount of sweat that was expelled was majestic. <laughs> we got so much stuff to show you guys in the car. I, I don't even know what to I say. Don't even, it I was can't amazing. Say anything. I just am really, really happy. And, uh, yeah, thank <laughs> Look you. at this nerdy Thank you, Matt Martin. Martin. Thank you, Manny Jean. <laughs> We're gonna, let's, let's get in the car. Let's head back to LA and we'll tell you guys all about it. Ah! Well, I think it's pretty hard. <laughs> to put into words how awesome that was today at Lucasfilm. We knew we were gonna get to take a tour, but uh, I don't know if we really understood just how impactful and how awesome some of that stuff we were gonna see was. Is there anything that sticks out to you in particular? You know, I, I never even thought about getting to go into the Star Wars show's offices. Yeah. Let alone the set let alone meeting Andy Gooks. Yeah. Uh, Andy Gutierrez. The I, whole squad. We saw the whole all squad, them all of them. It was pretty cool to go in there and kind of see the operation. And while, yes, obviously it's bigger than what we do in our closet in Chatsworth, they're just like us. Yeah. You know, I mean, maybe that sounds lame, but um, it was kind of humbling to see their setup and what they do at the same time, how epic <laughs> their surroundings are. Yeah, I think it was pretty unreal to see the amount of cool stuff they had in their studio space. It was vintage figs. Their office space, everything. I it mean, was... listen, I don't want to make a shout out. However, Andy Goots, if you do stumble onto them Bib Fortuna Bendems, <laughs> like, I can give you my address. I would love a Bib Fortuna Bendem from the Star Wars show set. I mean, we saw a lot of cool Star Wars memorabilia, props, models, it's, map It's paintings. a lot of art. But we also saw a lot of cool stuff from a plethora of film history. Yes. That we was, ju I, I just, it was amazing. Yeah, I mean, it was a lot of Back to the Future, a lot of Spielberg movies. That It's a lot of stuff that ILM has worked on yeah. in particular. Ghostbusters. Well, Ghostbusters 2, I Ghostbusters think, specifically. Two specifically. I don't think they worked on Ghostbusters. Um, E.T., the Ten Commandments, the poster collections that are just all over the hallways are, I yeah. mean, film history, man. If you love movies, you can feel Lucas's love of movies in those hallways. And in a weird way, like, you really do feel that there's this quality to the love of cinema. The craftsmanship It's really, it. like, you feel it while you're there. And it becomes less about Star Wars and more about just being at a place that respects the art form of making movies. And to me, yeah. that was what I really loved. Now, I also love the gift shop. Oh, the I gift shop? bananas <sighs> in the gift shop. I think we're good on clothes to wear yeah. during our episodes for the next year or so. Yeah, I I couldn't agree more. It was, uh, that gift shop was overwhelming. It was like, it you was were like, stressing. I'd like two of these, I'd like two of these, I'd like one of these, oh. Lucasfilm Skywalker Pinot Noir, I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, anything with a Skywalker or a Lucasfilm label, I'll buy it, I'm a sucker. Steve was like, should we buy this blanket with porgs? And I was like, <laughs> no. You know, that place would be a bad place to go shopping if you were a little tipsy. 
Oof, like you, you just make, got your tax return? No, you make <laughs> bad decisions. It was just really cool. Like, and, uh, and again, too, like we had great tour guides. Yes. Like Matt and Amanda absolutely love their job and love nerd culture and those movies. And while they were, they were pointing stuff out to us that I never knew, which was so cool to see like oh just, my god like the the uh, Die Hard map painting the Die Hard 2 map painting with yeah, the, the Die Jim Hard, Henson thing and the E.T. the theater playing Star Wars on the map painting in E.T. there was yeah. a lot of like little things like that that you know you just don't get that and it's just little tiny things that the artists are saying with their work and I, I th for me that was all the little stuff that I really love but you know the one thing that where I found myself just going I can't believe the thing that I loved more than anything, and you're gonna be like, oh really, that's the thing you, more than any of the art, more than any, more than the gift shop was actually at the very end, we got to go into their screening room. Yes. The screening room was my favorite. It was like silent in there because- It was we, a movie it's theater. It's an immaculate theater where they Beautiful screen everything. Beautiful architecture. And to me, sitting in there, feeling the creative energy that happens in that room is always what I really love about going to places like that. Like I love Star Wars, I love movies, They're, it's my passion, but more than any of it, I love making fun stuff and being creative and doing a show like this. So it was cool to sort of celebrate more than just Star Wars and just celebrate making stuff. Like yeah. Lucas is the ultimate pirate. He's the ultimate punk rock filmmaker. Right, he, t he started just doing his own thing and look where it got him. And to me, being in that theater, I felt that the most, smelling the wood and the dimly lit light. It was just really, I really got a kick out of it, so. Yeah, you know, I, I'm not surprised that that was your favorite thing. I think for me, uh, and you know this about me, I love the entire process that goes in behind the scenes of making film and television yeah. and music for that matter. And every aspect of the craft of filmmaking is seeping out of the walls of that, of that building. Yeah. And so, yes, we got to see the Holy Grail of, from the last crusade. We got to see the editing, um, equipment that they edited a new hope on. We got to see all of these things, but ultimately, for me, it was just being there and in essence, sort of what you felt in that theater is what I felt just walking through the halls the entire time was the energy that was all encompassing that goes into the craft of making film and television that just gave me chills. Yeah. And just like, I'll never forget the experience that we were um, given today. Yeah. And it's, I mean, again, not to, not to wax poetic about ourselves, <laughs> like, not to, not to be those guys, but it is really cool to me that as these clips roll out and however we want to sort of show this road trip adventure to everybody, that's the best part, guys. We I mean, we really just shot everything. Yeah, we we just, don't know how this We is really all, didn't have a plan. We're, we'll see how this all comes out, but what's really great about capturing all of this is just you guys got to sort of celebrate with us what it was like less than a year later from doing our first show, going up there and being like, wow, the community's really welcomed us in. And though our audience numbers might be small, they're mighty. Like I, I do feel like you guys all got to, you're all gonna get to go on this adventure with us and you're gonna get to experience everything with us. And to me, that's just as cool. This entire road trip was, in my opinion, just an ultimate fan experience. Yeah. And that sort of is what our show is in general. Our show is by fans, for fans. Um, and with our fan support, we're able to do stuff like we did on this trip. Yeah. And it, it really was just an insane fan experience and I'm just really glad we get to share it with everybody. Yeah. So, as you guys know, we made a deal with Matt Martin, the last Target we went to, to go toy shopping with him. He got to pick out something. He picked out a Han Land Speeder Lego. Let me grab it. I'm gonna bump the mic here. This guy right here, as we drive across this beautiful lake, I now am going to attempt, <laughs> attempt to build this thing. And not lose any pieces. And not lose any pieces. Now, is that gonna be possible? I don't 
know, but we're just gonna sort of time lapse this out. I'm not gonna break too hard. <laughs> Please don't. And I, I do not want to get motion sick while I'm doing this. So, like, I know you're, you're one piece at a time. I know now. now this is pod racing when you're on your way home, <laughs> but like, let's do now this is safe racing. So, thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll play this out with a time lapse of me building this thing and. I, there's no way I'm gonna finish it, so you'll just have to tune into Instagram to see what this fa final bad boy is true. Looked like once oh. again. Thank you to Matt Martin, Amanda Jean, Danny's, Brian. Thank you so much back there. Box, thank Box. You, brother. Thank you for coming through, Mark Anthony. Everybody who helped us do this, Patty and Bob. Thank you for letting us crash. Thank you, Patty. Thank you to everyone that helped make this thing possible. This was probably my favorite experience we have done so far. More than the live show? Yep. Should we just do a road trip somewhere to our next live show? I don't know. You're leaving me hanging on this fist bump, though. I know. Well, I'm going <laughs> to leave you hanging on that fist bump. I'm just trying to see if that, that I don't know. Do. I think, I think uh, we'll see how people like it. But I think uh, I'd like to do some more of these. Well, here's to another year. We'll have some fun. I'm not going to leave you hanging. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to this awesome Black Series Rebels first ever special edition road trip. And with that being said, as always, guys, may the force be with you.